So you're going to Montana and you don't know what to take or you overpack, here's a list that we've put together from years of going out there. It's the perfect blend of having enough, but not overpacking. All right, so I'm gonna go over my packs and luggage that I use for a trip like this to Montana. First, I use a Yeti Flip. May seem like overkill, but this allows me to keep lunches and drinks when we're driving to different rivers to wet wade. Also too, if you are renting a boat and they do not provide a cooler, it's a great way to be able to store drinks and lunches. This is my uh, personal item on the airplane. For my fishing pack, I use the submersible uh, lumbar pack from Fish Pond. Great size for a week trip, allows me to store my tools, flies, terminal tackle, really nice pack. For luggage, what I'm gonna use is the Dakota Carry-On by Fish Pond. So this is up to nine foot rods. The reason I like this length is it's TSA approved. So I can stick it in the overhead bin storage um, and it's gonna be able to allow me to fit plenty of rods and reels on a trip like this. And lastly, for clothing, wading boots, and every other piece of gear that I'm gonna take, I use the Fish Pond a Grand Teton rolling bag, really nice bag, um, allows me to store everything and keep it organized throughout the week. All right, so now that we've gone over packs and luggage, I'm gonna take a dive into my fishing pack and show you what I'm gonna take. It's not the end all be all. Make sure that when you get to your destination, go into a local fly shop, talk to them, ask for tips and tricks of what they're using. They may be able to give you some terminal tackle ideas and flies and by purchasing some gear at their fly shop, they may give you a few more waypoints to add to your map to uh, catch some fish. So for tools, gonna keep it simple. Set of able pliers, loon mitten scissor clamps, loon scissors for trimming up indicators. I've got a hatch knot tensioning tool. My hatch nippers. Got a brush for brushing out the indicators. I've got a fish pond puck that has a yarn indicator and a assortment of airlocks and oros in varying sizes. I've got two fly box. One is a fish pond pescador large and the pescador mag pad. Small streamers in this one. The rest of the flies are going to go in this box. For weights, I'm going to carry just a small little assortment of the Loon River Camo weights. I've got a pack of rubber bands for the Dorsey style indicators. And then I use the Yakota Utility Wallet for my leaders that we'll jump into now. So I'm going to take a assortment of leaders, nothing crazy. I've got a pack of 9 foot 4X and a pack of 9 foot 3X leaders. I am going to take a pack of 10 foot 4X Stealth Leader. Um, this is going to allow me to get a little bit more um, stealthy for some picky fish that are rising. For Tippet, I've got 3X and 4X and Nylon, 3X and 4X and Fluoro, and I am going to take a spool of 16 pound hatch Fluoro Tippet for a streamer fishing. I'm going to use a Loon Amadou patch. And for floatin's gonna keep it simple. So I've got high and dry liquid floatin for applying uh, on yarn indicators and hoppers. I've got the liquid spray for PMD style dry flies, the powder with a brush from high and dry, and then I am gonna use the Loon Easy Dry for shaking out uh, bigger hoppers and dry flies with that. So now I'm gonna go over what's inside of my Dakota carry-on. Obviously, rods and reels are part of that. I do want to note, though, anything that I'm allowed to take on with me as a carry-on item that was inside of my fishing pack, I'm going to stow it inside of this. The reason being, if my luggage was to get lost, I have key essentials to get me on the water fishing as quickly as possible. So this is a hosted trip. We're taking eight anglers out there with us. The rod and reel section could be a little overkill if it was just you and a buddy going or yourself going, so just keep that in mind. For four weight and five weight rods, they're going to be paired with Scientific Angler MPX in four and five weight line. We feel like that is a great line for going out there to fight the wind um, and throw bigger flies, but also too, we're able to still get 
a nice presentation by extending our leader and tippet section with that line. So I'm going to take a couple nine foot five weight red truck and their diesel line. I've got a Scott centric and a 905 and I'm going to pair that with the MPX, like I said, but also too, this fish is really nice with the wolf triangle taper. So I'll have a spool of that. I do have a 10 foot rod. I'm going to take one red truck, uh, 10 foot four weight again with MPX. For my Winston Air 2, this will have the Wolf Triangle Taper on this rod. And then for my Light Streamer Rod, I'm going to take the Red Truck 9 foot 7 weight and their diesel line. For this rod, I'm going to have a Nautilus XL, and I'm going to take a spare spool. So I've got two different lines here, a intermediate sink and a floating line. I'm um, just kind of depending on the sections that I'm fishing, and I'm going to take the scientific angler tip wallet and i've got different sink rate tips to pair with my floating line lastly we're going to go over what's inside of my grand teton bag in july it's going to be warm i'm personally not going to take a pair of waders um, i am going to take a pair of lightweight wading boots these have a built-in wading sock if your boots do not have a built-in wading sock i would highly suggest uh, bringing a pair of those and i'll pair this with a performance style sock underneath this boot. A couple different hats and visors, a few buffs and sun gloves, a nylon style belt that's quick drying for the hosted trip application where this may seem a little overkill again I'm going to take a few of the Yakota extra boot laces in case uh, myself or someone else in the group busts a pair of laces, I'm able to get them up and going. They come in 74 and 84 inch, so I'm able to cover all the different style of wading boots. I am going to take a rising net. This net's pretty cool. It separates here in the middle, so it's able to collapse and fit inside of my bag. Where I am taking a 10 foot rod, it will not fit in the Dakota carry-on. So I'm going to put the rod inside of the rod too, and that will be strapped down on the inside of the Grand Teton. For clothing, I'm going to keep this super simple. Squala has three different style sun hoodies, and I'm going to take each um, in a different color combination. So their Tropic hoodie, I'm going to take their Soul hoodie, and I am also going to take their Tactical hoodie. They make a pair of sole wading pants. I'm going to take um, those in each of their colors, a gray and green. And I'll take a couple pairs of the Howler Brother uh, tech pants as well, varying in color. Take a few of the Howler Brother button-up fishing style shirts. These are great. I also pair these with a sun hoodie underneath just for a little extra protection. And it gives me a little warmth in the chillier mornings and evenings. For jackets, I also keep it simple. Squala has um, their hybrid jacket. So I'll pair that with the clothes worn, and then I take the carbon rain jacket from Squala as well. This is a super lightweight, um, extremely mobile style jacket, very breathable. It's gonna keep you uh, warm as well as dry if any pop-up showers happen. Here's a few personal bonus items that I like to take with me, regardless of where I'm going. For sunglasses, I'll have Bahio, varying in frame style and lens color. For water bottle, I've got a Yeti 36 ounce water bottle. This is great. If we end up away from the truck for an extended period of time, throw this in my pack or a backpack. Got a Yeti hotshot cup for coffee in the mornings with their thermos style lid. Got a koozie for cold can beverages on the water in the afternoon. And then lastly, I've got a cocktail cup for in the evenings around the fire or the dinner table. Again, this is not an end all be all list by any means, but we hope that this helps you for your next adventure out west if you live on the east coast. If you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we appreciate it. Cheers.